Hello everyone. So in this episode of our action RPG sword fighting system, this is the issue we are going to solve. Here, if I do an attack when the character is like this, it does the damage. But if I am slightly away, now the character is not doing any damage. So what I'm what I want to do is if the character is very close and like but a little bit further so that it does not it is not quite in the range to do the attack i want to through the code move the character a bit closer it should be uh, not that obvious but i want to move the character a little bit towards the enemy so that it can perform the attack so we don't have to worry about like in exact position uh, if the if my character is compared to the enemy character so that's the issue I'm going to address today. So before we get started, I'd like to remind you this is uh, a part of this action RPG with gameplay ability system tutorial series I'm, do I'm doing. Even though you, it's, it may not be necessary for you to understand what I'm saying in this tutorial. Uh, to have watched all these episodes, but it would be better. And also, you can download the project files of this complete project from my patron page i'll leave the link in description below actually once you become a member you can download anything all the projects that i have done in my channel not just this all right so let's get back to today's tutorial and i implemented the light attack here so here this is the ga light attack gameplay ability that we implemented and here we added this uh, rotate to enemy function so now so I'll rename this part not rotate I'll call it adjust position and rotation so that I can put the position logic also inside this part and it makes sense right so for that here first I'll calculate the distance between the enemy character and my own character and if this is let's say less than 200 I'll consider this as the threshold that I'm going to consider to make the character snap or oh, adjust the location to do the attack but for that I have so when I get the closest enemy I yeah in this function I'm using the range as I as I remember I think uh, yeah 300 but maybe this is too much a bit too much so I'll make it 250 and then here if the range where is it here if the range is larger than 200 I want to make the character is uh, closer or make it move closer to the enemy so for that I'll calculate the unit direction vector from the enemy to my character and then I'll multiply this by let's say one ninety and then uh, if I add this value to the enemy's location I will get a new location that is only uh, the distance only 190 units away from the enemy and I'll use this as the new location but I need to adjust location only if my characters more than 200 units away from the enemy so let's check it and then get our uh, actor from actor info. 
head back to the location. And this is the new location. All right, let's test the sword. Yeah, let's try like this. Okay. Yeah. Now, as you can see, character is adjusting the location. Okay. Let me try again. Right. Nice. And also, let's test this in a multiplayer setting. So that here is my multiplayer setup so that I can ensure that everything is working with replication. All right, so okay, oh, which character am I attacking? Oh, let's see, yeah. it's not visible. Let me change the angle like this. Okay. Right. I think it's working properly. Great. Okay, so we can stop this episode right here. And don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, updated project files will be available in the Patreon page, link would be in the description below. And see you in the next episode, goodbye.